at this point of time many teachers and even students are confused how the neat exam will be what's the revised pattern going to be like whether it's online offline hybrid and how to exactly prepare for these different new changes what about the you know uh, new expected cutoffs and all of that here i'm going to give you the new expected cutoffs the revised safe scores and the revised difficulty levels based on the current trends and it's not based on what i think or what i feel because everyone when everyone might feel different things this is based on a proper detailed analysis and i will share the pdf the link will be there in the description box so you can to download it and you yourself can see that how you know unique this analysis is and how you can use this for your benefit for NEET 2025 the link will be there in the comments or even in the description box well i'm captain stress your physics master teacher i've been training and sending kids to their dream desired colleges for last 13 plus years and if you are not yet a member of the number one neat english channel which is the vedantu neat english channel do subscribe right now and like this video so that youtube also understands that you are a neat aspirant and want to stay away from distractions so quickly smash that like button now what does the neat ranking your marks and you know other uh, perception of difficulty depend on it depends on many factors number one is the syllabus difficulty level of the actual paper i will show you the proper analysis of how the paper has been set in the past few years the paper pattern whether it is going to change well there is a news over here too number of candidates and seats if candidates increase seats also increase no problem but candidates increase seats do not increase so much then that's a problem also different ranking factors and as to how many people are there in the reserved category unreserved category all these things you know are going to matter droppers versus freshers how many years dropper students are there so many things are going to decide your ranks as well as your marks now talking about the syllabus nmc released the updated syllabus clearly in advance and not many changes there so it's same as before so for dropper students you know you have to just follow whatever you have done last year so not much of surprise for them but for freshers everything is new so just follow the new ncrt number one number two just download the official ncrt sorry the, download the official nmc syllabus also make sure that you do not spend too much time on the deleted topics in fact i'll make a separate video on which topics deleted all right now since the syllabus has been reduced after covid in the new ncrt it gives you more time but it gives more time for everyone which means you have to do something more to make use or to benefit out of the reduced syllabus you can't just be happy because everyone is happy at the same time so you have to utilize it smartly focus more on the high weightage topics and plan your studies smartly in fact i had made a detailed video on how you can plan your studies with the block strategy all right talking about the difficulty levels if you see in 2023 there were some difficult questions too but 2024 the difficulty overall perception was reduced the distribution of questions were balanced both the times but in 2024 there were some questions which felt like they're out of syllabus or they were actually debatable whether they are there in ncrt or not there in ncrt the toughest section usually is physics easiest section yes biology so that might build some confidence but this might scare you trust me when the toughest section is physics if you make physics your strength then you beat others that's how you play it smart yes if it is tough for everyone if you make it your strength because biology is everyone's strength most of the students then that's how you go ahead in the ranking and you can do that by focusing on the high weightage chapters the level of competition was high i put a star mark here because there was a lot of rank inflation here and a lot of you know debatable things which went on like the scams and all of that because of which the perception was that for the same marks i will get a very very low rank so you know it's expected that next year too the rank inflation might hit hard but there is also a catch over there i'll come to it see the difficulty level more or less is on the moderate side in need 2024 35 percent questions are easy so even if a student doesn't do difficult questions 82 percent of the paper can be solved if you have done good amount of practice you have covered that syllabus 
So there is no need if you want 600 plus to you know um, uh, solve 82 percent of the paper. You you can just skip the difficult part. But obviously, if your target is 650, 680, and all of that, you will have to focus a few uh, number of questions on the difficult side as well. Obviously, now this percentage might slightly go on the more difficult side because obviously NTA and MC everyone was under fire from students, parents, teachers, coaching institutes, everyone, everyone was blame, uh, blaming, you know, NTA and uh, the manner in which it was conducted, committee was set up. So they might feel that, you know what, everyone is getting very good marks, 720 marks is uh, 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 obtained by so many students, 700 plus, so many kids are getting. So they might just try to make slightly higher percentage of difficult questions just so that the rank inflation might come down. So be aware of that and plan your test papers accordingly. In fact, in our neat express batches and DNA batches or even in our test series, we are making sure that we give all kinds of papers, difficult ones, easy ones, so that even if a hard question paper comes, a student is prepared. So my advice is just don't expect the same level of paper expect a higher difficulty in NEET 2025 to reduce the rank inflation. Talking about the modes and the patterns, because committees were set up and there were news articles saying exam will be in multiple stages, it might be in online. Some people also said the paper will be on the computer, but OMR sheets will be given to mark your answer uh, answers. In fact, the committee also has released the report uh, saying that there has to be more and more involvement, you know, of the government authorities who are permanent employees and we should reduce the dependencies on, you know, temporary staff and we have to reduce all those intermediate uh, institutes or intermediate people who the paper is passed on to. That's why they said the paper has to be online. Now, talking about what changes are expected? First change is expected is over here. See that 20 minutes buffer time was given during that COVID times and all of that. So that 20 minutes may not be there. Be prepared for it. If it is there, consider it as bonus. Obviously, everybody wants that extra 20 minutes. But also remember, when 20 minutes is given, it is for everyone. If it is taken out, it is taken out for everyone. So either everyone benefits or nobody benefits. Second important thing which might happen is that five questions which are optional in section B might be removed because it was also removed in J. And that benefit was given only during that COVID time. Now COVID is gone and all of that. So maybe that five optional questions in section B might just get removed. So totally you will have 35 plus 10, which is 45 questions per subject, 180 questions in all without any options. Obviously, this is going to make the paper feel tough because time might reduce and even the options might go away. So NTA can play it really smart that just by reducing the time and removing the options and without changing the difficulty of the paper, the paper might feel difficult or they might do all the three. So you have to be prepared for that. And like I said before, in our batches, we are making sure all kinds of patterns and varieties are given to the students so that any unexpected thing happens, you are prepared for it. Next important thing, if you talk about the competition, obviously in 2020, look at it, how it was 15 lakh, then 16 lakh, then 18 lakh, then, you know, COVID year was still 2022, all these three years went in COVID, then 2023, 20 lakh, 2024, 23 lakh, and now it's expected anywhere between 24 to 26 lakhs. In fact, even for J, the number of registrations for the attempt in January went up significantly by a lakh and two. So expect the similar change even in need examination. Obviously, there is no age limit, which means so a lot of students who are taking a drop will also try to re-attempt. Now, obviously, like I said, NTA was under fire. So difficulty might be on the higher side or they might play it smart by reducing the time and removing the options. The number of seats available in the medical colleges are almost the same, it will slightly increase. Usually it is right now around a lakh or so. It might increase marginally by four or five thousand, but don't expect too many changes. Also, there is no news yet 
of any new colleges or any new you know setups or expansions being done by any of the government colleges or aims colleges so right now there is no such news but if it happens it will be really good for all the students right now the exam will be conducted by nda not by any other uh, uh, body as of now if there is any change then we will get to know all right now uh, the next important thing is the cutoffs let's have a look at the round one counseling which happened this year in 2024 and also compare it with 2023 and 2022 look at this in the unreserved category the cutoff for your government colleges were around 608 in 2022 around 17000 rank in 2023 was 618 for 19000 rank because the seats have increased and in 2024 not much of seats have increased but you can see a massive score jump from 618 to 660 for the round one so imagine scoring 660 plus only then you are getting your uh, government colleges and you are making sure that you are clearing in the round one obviously round two cutoffs are slightly lower but round one gives you a decent idea of where you should target for the next year so what is expected for need 2025 bare minimum 650 plus bare minimum 650 plus but again that might come down that's why i put 650 i could have also put 670 to scare you no because it is already expected the difficulty level will go up pattern might be tweaked a little bit because of which the marks might come down a little bit so 650 is your bare minimum target that you should keep in mind to get into a good 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 college for your medical next important thing if you analyze the last couple of years trends see some interesting facts in need 2024 there were some graph type of questions in physics hardly anything in biology statement type questions were there more in chemistry assertion reason was also there not much in chemistry but in biology more than one statement correct where you know options are like a and b both are correct all the of the above are correct those kind of questions three questions here three questions here in biology there were 12 questions match the following biology so many questions diagram based questions 11 type 11 questions here eight questions here so you can see how the distribution is so you know where to focus your energies on unnecessarily i won't focus so much on chemistry assertion and reason or i might not focus too much on physics statement type of questions obviously these are the yellow markings which you need to focus on a lot including the diagram type of questions in physics as well next important thing uh, in 2024 there was a paper leak which happened and because of which the paper was reconducted a similar thing was observed even in the re-examination biology matched the following so many questions were there you can see graph type matched the type as well as diagram type questions were there a lot in physics in chemistry match the following was there statement type was there and more than one correct was also there and even in biology more than one correct was there in good quantity so this gives you an idea of where you should focus in need to, uh, 2023 examination you can see again biology match the following a lot statement type a lot assertion reason was a lot more than one correct was a lot in biology of course in physics okay it was quite a uh, quite less in quantity uh, whereas in chemistry you can see the uh, assertion reason and more than one correct was decently placed uh, in 2023 NEET examination. Similar analysis done for NEET 22 so that you have a proper idea of which type of questions are asked in which subject unnecessarily don't waste too much of your time when you see something is not asked repeatedly in the last couple of years. Okay, now basically NEET 2025 expect a similar thing that you might get these kind of questions this is just like a sample or a model so start analyzing the papers whatever question papers you are solving roughly on an average do they have these many questions on an average sometimes this might go up this might go less for your mock test for your full syllabus all india level test series so this is the kind of pattern that you should follow so that you are closer to the actual need 2025 paper all right now the entire pdf will be there in the description box please download it and i'll make a separate video for the deleted syllabus as well i hope you got a proper clarity on what the safe scores and the expected numbers will be for the upcoming neat examination prepare accordingly 
Thank you so much. Share this video with everyone. Share the PDF as well. And quickly smash that like button. Thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.